Every year, dozens of people die in avalanches in the mountains. 90% of those people avalanched triggered the avalanche themselves. So if we understand where an avalanche can occur, we can avoid or at least minimise our exposure to avalanches. In this three-part series, we will look at some of the key things to think about before heading into the backcountry this season. You'll hear people talk about avalanche terrain, so what is it? Avalanche terrain is any terrain that can be avalanched or is threatened by a slope that can avalanche. This is terrain between 30 and 45 degrees in steepness. In Europe, this also includes off-piste terrain within the ski area, as the ski patrol only have responsibility to secure the piece and the lift infrastructure. As skiers and riders, the most interesting terrain for us to ride is in this 30 to 45 degree range, as it doesn't feel too steep nor too flat. Ironically, below 30, snow very rarely avalanches, and above 45, snow sloughs constantly, so it doesn't build dangerous layers. If we can learn to understand terrain, then we can ski our whole life and not know anything about snowpack stability. If the snowpack or your group's avalanche skill level is the question, then terrain will always be your answer. Good terrain management is your get out of jail card. The key to understanding terrain is being able to measure slope angle during the planning phase of your day, then estimate and measure slope angle when in the mountains. So here I'm just going to measure the angle of the slope, give me an idea of what might happen. And here we go, we're dead on, 31 degrees. So we're, on, we're in avalanche terrain and we're on a slope that could slide. Having a plan based on our terrain selection at home, and we are happy that the avalanche forecast is correct, we can start to look in more detail at the terrain. Being able to estimate what is and isn't avalanche terrain is what will minimise our risk exposure in the mountains. Having studied our route before heading out, we have identified key places where we will have to be more vigilant. These may be areas that are steeper and hence more avalanche prone, be threatened by avalanche terrain, or have more serious consequences should an avalanche occur. These terrain features that magnify the seriousness of any avalanche are known as terrain traps. The common ones are gullies, abrupt changes of angle, trees, rocks, cliffs and crevasses. We should also add in cornices, especially in the springtime. Understanding terrain does not mean avoiding interesting skiing. It means understanding where you can ski when the hazards are higher. Then if you do choose to go into avalanche terrain, having the tools and knowledge to mitigate the risk. What do you think of the plan based on what we were thinking last night? I think it's fine. We can work low angle terrain in there and get in and have the prod and feel. And, uh -huh. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, ski, ski down into the bottom of the valley there. Yeah, yeah. And then we can work up through that terrain and head to the bridge. As we navigate through this terrain, we have chosen a line that links islands of safety and avoids terrain traps. By understanding terrain and how it interacts with the weather and snowpack, we can find great skiing, but also learn how to do it more safely.